Hey everyone, welcome to another video. It's Kasumi Chris for the ones that don't know yet and I'm going to be talking about my experience of quitting veganism. It has nearly been five years since I decided to quit the lifestyle. I'm sure a lot of you wonder how I'm doing because I haven't been giving a lot of updates about it, but I'm definitely planning to now. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little background about why I started the vegan diet, why I quit it, and all the way up until this point, what happened? What did I eat? How did my health improve? Because it really did improve. It was really as if I got unplugged from the matrix. They took out that cord out of my neck and I came back to reality. <laughs> so I started the vegan diet in 2014. I was doing a bunch of research about my skin because I had a bunch of acne and that was basically the only health issue I had. I didn't struggle with anything else. Everything was basically normal and fine, but I wanted to have clear skin. And I know many people who have struggled with acne have felt the same way. You're looking for any type of answer. You've tried everything, but it doesn't work. So I was desperate and I came across the vegan diet and a lot of anecdotal stories with people that cleared up their skin with this diet. Now I wasn't completely totally convinced about the vegan diet yet, but I did reduce the amount of animal products I was having in my diet. Then I came across the movie Earthlings. And that actually pushed me over the edge because nobody likes to see animals suffer. But back then I thought every animal on the planet was treated that way. So I could not con contribute to that anymore. And that was the reason that I fully went vegan. I thought it was just the right thing to do for the planet, the animals and humans and my own health. And as I started to see my skin clear up and as I started to feel a bit better, I thought, well, this is really working. I'm going to continue eating this way. So what I basically did was eat a bunch of raw foods during the daytime and uh, cooked meals at night. I ate as much as I could because you know, with plant food, you really need to have a lot because they don't have much calories. I really thought that removing the animal products from my diet was the key. But now that I look back, it was definitely just the removal of processed foods from my diet and eating whole foods. At some point, I really started seeing my well being decline. I lost interest for things in life. I lost um, my connection with friends. Um, I wasn't, I think, the funnest person to hang out with anymore because my life was about veganism and everything was about veganism. So all my conversations would kind of turn into that, that topic. I stopped going to school. I stopped doing uh, soccer and yeah, my just everything started to become a bit more somber. And at some point I really noticed my health decline too. My hair started falling out. My nails would be very brittle and they would break off quickly. My skin became kind of grayish, dullish and dry. Even though my acne wasn't as bad anymore, I would still get acne and still get like just this rough kind of dead looking skin. Just, it wasn't vibrant at all anymore. My hair, had no shine to it. It wouldn't grow at all. It kept thinning and it wouldn't grow long anymore. I was just clueless. I thought I was eating a really healthy diet, but all these things about my appearance weren't really matching that. But I never turned to say that veganism was the issue. So within veganism, I started trying a bunch of different things. I even went to a natural food chef course to learn how to properly prepare grains and vegetables. I really wouldn't give up on this because I thought this was the right way. But I also in the back of my mind thought, why am I feeling so bad? What is the thing that I'm missing? Do I need to do a juice cleanse? Do I need to go on a raw foods diet? What is it that I need to do? Is there some detox program I have to go through to come out healthy and well on the other side? What is wrong with me? I remember when I applied for that food chef course, that natural food chef course, uh, which wasn't a, 
a hundred percent vegan uh, course. It was plant-based and they would still promote raw butter, for example. Uh, they would talk about like certain animal foods that they could still incorporate. Like some teachers would still have some fish. They were very plant-based, but they would allow some certain type of animal foods into their diet. And I would absolutely not. And I thought I was better than them for doing that. Now looking back, <laughs> absolutely not. But I had this interview with this lady that would accept me into this uh, course. And uh, I, I was talking about my experience and why I started the vegan diet. And she actually said, well, you took out all the animal products out of your diet and then your skin cleared up. But did you ever put any of those products back into your diet to see if actually they were the cause of your acne? And I was like, no, I didn't do that. And she was actually suggesting me to do that. But I was very stubborn and I didn't want to listen because I thought veganism was the way to go. She was wrong and I was right. When clearly that lady was right. So I remember that in 2018, it got very bad. My health was really suffering. And that is where I got very desperate. I was looking for answers in only the vegan realm of information. I wouldn't listen to anyone who would promote a little bit of animal products into their diet. But at some point, my health just got so bad. I went to bed, I started praying to God to help me because I didn't know what to do anymore. And soon after that, I started to allow myself to watch some content that was not only vegan, <laughs> that people were talking about um, what animal foods are actually helping them with their health. And that opened a door for me. I allowed myself to watch that and listen to people outside of the vegan realm. And I think that was the push that I needed because I did go to the doctor. I did try things out. The doctor just told me a vegan diet is normal and my all my health markers are just fine. My vitamin D was really terribly low, scarily low. Uh, but other than that, he said, it's totally fine. You can do this. Veganism is normal. Um, so yeah, I, I, I did seek help, but there was nobody really helping me. And um, when I watched certain videos about Michaela Peterson, for example, and her father, and uh, some other YouTubers that were talking about uh, a meat only diet or an animal based diet, um, or people that were kind of not talking positively about veganism, that really pushed myself to step out of it a little bit and it's exactly what i needed because i was such in a such poor mental state in a such my body was just feeling so unwell and i just didn't know what to do anymore i felt left in the dark i needed to figure it out by myself in the end and I'm glad i did because watching those videos helped me step out of veganism i allowed myself to buy some eggs and some butter and uh, that was the end of veganism <laughs> once i ate that i felt so much better immediately three days later i had some chicken and i started just to feel high <laughs> high on life i felt so happy and satiated i was just in my chair just enjoying doing nothing after eating and feeling so so good <laughs> It was amazing. It was amazing piece, eating a piece of chicken. And I felt so good and I thought, holy crap. I really have been missing something in my diet. And then I remember like a week later, I had some steak. I remember just feeling so euphoric. I almost felt the sensation that I wanted to cry. I felt my heart beat racing. I, it was such a crazy experience eating a good piece of meat after almost five years. And um, yeah, that made, made me really realize that I need this in my diet because I felt so calm and my nerves were so calm and I felt so relaxed and peaceful and just satiated and I didn't want to eat anything else. <laughs> because the thing with veganism was every time I ate a meal that was completely vegan, I would be so hungry still afterwards and I still wanted to eat, but I would feel full, but I still wanted to eat and that just really shows that I'm missing nutrients. My body is asking 
for some real <laughs> nutrients that I can actually absorb and use, but I was constantly giving it plant food and that wasn't enough. After that, I started learning about an animal-based diet and um, just my whole vision got opened up more uh, in the world of nutrition and food and diet lifestyle. Because first I was just looking at veganism and now I had wider vision <laughs> and I would accept listening to different parties and really discovering the truth in um, why a vegan diet wasn't working for me and why I feel so much better having meat, dairy and eggs. I did notice I still had that food dogma with me. So uh, even though I switched from eating vegan to putting back animal products in my diet, I still had this really restrictive mindset. I had this really bad view about food that I've taken with me from veganism to eating animal based. So uh, that really wasn't helping me. And I know this after five to six months, I really worked on getting rid of that mindset. No more food dogma. I just wanted to be normal about food. I didn't want to have food become my identity because that really was my identity back then. Veganism, everything revolved around it. Food, food, food all the time. Just thinking about food, being so hungry. Now that I switch back to animal foods again, um, food is never on the top of my list anymore. Like I will eat, I will feel satiated and I can go on with my day, but it is not what my world revolves around anymore. And that was a big thing that I really needed to get rid of. So after noticing my health improve, my hair, skin and nails getting better again, my hair actually growing longer again, I um, only noticed that the one thing I would really struggle with was still my digestion because that was terrible after veganism. I really noticed in the beginning once I switched and started to consume dairy again, I would be so tired after having dairy. Um, and back then I was still in this mindset of I need to be productive, I need to do stuff so I cannot just fall asleep and take a nap. Looking back, I should really have done that because my body was just in need of recovery. I needed to recover. I just needed to eat a lot, sleep a lot and just like leave my body to rest. I experienced uh, a lot of digestive discomfort that will affect me mentally too for a very long time. It took me from 2018 to 2021 to really get rid of that. Right now I can eat anything and no bloating. I don't experience bloating anymore. No discomfort, no feeling unwell. I can eat anything. Of course, I really stick to my animal based diet. But um, if I ever veer off, and that doesn't happen frequently, um, my digestion can just handle it, it handles everything. So I eat a lot of meat, dairy and eggs, those are basically my staples, I will have uh, many eggs <laughs> on a day, I think sometimes I will have 10 eggs in a day. If I ever go out to eat, um, uh, I will I will have some dessert here and there. I will uh, veer off the normal eating pattern that I have, but it never causes any issue and it makes my social life so great because I really don't have any health issues anymore uh, after I, I quit <laughs> the vegan diet. But yeah, I do eat mostly animal based. And if you would love to see a video about it, what I exactly eat, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I think it would be a great video to make for you guys. Now I feel great and you sometimes will hear people say this, but in general, I feel really amazing. I have so much energy to do stuff. In comparison to when I was like two, three years into veganism, I needed to mentally prepare myself for two to three hours to just go get some groceries, come back and feel tired and lay on the couch the rest of the day. It was that bad. I had trouble walking up and down the stairs because I thought I would break something literally. And 
I'm not old. <laughs> I wasn't old back then either. So feeling that way inside of your own body is so uncomfortable and scary too. And now I can just do anything. I can go to the store three or four times a day <laughs> if I need to or I had to. Um, just to give you an example, but I work full time, I create content on social media, I see my friends, I like to do hobbies and studies uh, on the side, I uh, like do my chores around the house, there's just so much energy I have throughout the whole day and I'm so grateful I got it back. Next to all the energy and how I feel, how I mentally feel, that all improved so much. Uh, physically too. Like I said, my nails are just, um, it's just, uh, I actually broke them off and they're kind of dirty. <laughs> Oops. But um, my nails, they're really strong and they grow long. My skin, just also from my face, my skin is just very clear. <laughs> it's really amazing to experience that coming from times that I would just be full of acne uh, on my face. My hair uh, finally grows. It's, uh, there's so much like new hairs coming out of my scalp the whole time, which I'm really happy with. So it's getting thicker. It's, it, it is able to actually grow again. I actually cut my hair to a bob uh, several months ago. So I might have had longer hair right now, but I cut it really short and I'm not planning to cut it anymore, but I wanted to have it all in the same length. So that's what happened. And I really contribute that to having a lot of saturated fats in my diet, a lot of protein, because that really helps your nail skin and hair. And that's exactly what I was missing back then. Really in the end, throughout this whole experience, I would never recommend the vegan diet to anyone like we know it in the West right now. I'm sure there are some exceptions here and there in the world. There might be some monks doing veganism for several months in a row and they might be fine. They live this whole totally different lifestyle and maybe they're not the healthiest people in the world. <laughs> I don't know for sure. But uh, just in general, no, I won't recommend the vegan diet. There's so many nutrients, vitamins and minerals that you lack with a plant-based vegan diet. Meat is so needed. <laughs> it contains almost everything you need, just like eggs. They are so crucial in uh, your diet and you can so easily absorb the nutrients from them. Yes, some plant foods might have these nutrients and if you get all the correct plant foods on your plate, you might get everything. But then there's the issue, will you actually absorb it? Are these nutrients actually bioavailable? How many anti-nutrients are in there that won't let you absorb those nutrients from those plant foods? Um, of course, there's soaking, sprouting, there's, there's things you can do to uh, increase the, uh, the availability of the nutrients in those foods. But in the end of the day, it's so much easier to just eat your steak, have some eggs, drink a glass of raw milk, and you basically <laughs> are done for the day. And that's literally with me. I don't eat that much just because the foods that I eat are so nutrient dense that I meet all my requirements and I don't feel hungry after I eat. I, I will eat a meal and I can go so long without eating. Uh, I, I'd really try to make sure to at least eat three meals a day because otherwise I will lose weight pretty quickly, which is for many people, no curse at all. <laughs> but for me now, uh, my metabolism is so wonderful uh, that uh, yeah, I need to be aware to remember to eat. Because when I was a vegan, I would think about food all the time, want to eat food all the time. My life revolved around food all the time. But now eating this way, I sometimes forget and I need to remember myself, hey, I need to eat something because uh, otherwise I will lose weight or uh, I will start to feel a little bit stressed out. And uh, yeah, it's just because this way of eating is so satiating, it's so nourishing. Uh, it makes me feel wonderful just in a way that I'm so calm and peaceful and happy all the time. <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, just uh, I'm so grateful that I started eating this way. And I'm so grateful now more for the animals. Yeah, I love them a lot more now because of this. I know that we need them. They have been put on this earth to nourish us, to be our companions. And 
I think animals are way better off like those farm animals uh, with us than in the wild. And then I'm really talking about farmers that really take care of their animals. Those animals are safe. They are protected. They've been given food all the time. They live a really happy life until they're dead. Probably some of those animals live a better life than we do. <laughs> but just to let you know, I do care about animals. Um, they, like I need them <laughs> to feel happy, healthy, and strong and to serve people in the world and to do what I need to do here. But of course I care about them if they're being raised well and taken care of properly. So if I go to get a piece of meat, I want to know where's this piece of meat coming from? How did they treat the animals? Did they get any like medication or not? I really do care. So like I said in the beginning of this video, if you have any questions, anything you want to make me a video about, leave it in the comment section down below. I would love to see your responses and uh, have a little chat with you because it's been a long time. Uh, I would also like you to give this video a thumbs up and to uh, help my channel out a bit more because I have been away for a while and we need to get this going again and if you want to share this video with anyone who went through the same uh, maybe is still a vegan and they're having health issues uh, i would really love for you to share that with them you can shed some light uh, on this issue because um, somebody who just did veganism for a year might not know what is coming for them so i hope you can share that with some people you know if you want to watch some of my uh, older videos on this topic, I will have them ready for you over here. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.